Hello viewers, welcome back to another free CAD tutorial. Today's topic is Sketch Workbench, which is fundamental to CAD modeling. In this two-part video series, I will go through the various aspects of the Sketcher. Okay, so let's start with our Sketcher tutorial. So um, Sketch Sketcher is actually in a couple of locations. So we have a separate Sketcher Workbench and then also in the part design workbench uh, you have a sketcher as well so uh, and then that's the sketcher shown here so let me start with the new uh, document so we call this uh, you know our name i'll <coughs> change the name to let's say base sketcher part okay something so now um, we have we are in the part design workbench and I as I explained in the previous video this contain all the uh, workbenches so we are in this part design workbench right now now you see you have the sketcher so let's uh, pick on that now when you click on the sketcher uh, sketcher is a 2d geometry okay uh, and you have to pick a plane that you are going to start building your model so in this case i'm going to pick xy plane i could pick any one of them but i am going to pick one uh, say okay i'm going to pick this one now once you pick that you are in this xy plane now how do you know that you can see that you are, you are rotated into the xy plane okay now <clears throat> i can create uh, some uh, geometry so i create a rectangle and then maybe i'll put up some hole inside this now i'm not going to constrain this right now uh, before we get into constraints uh, i want to get some uh, few uh, things out of the way uh, so we will get into constraints in detail uh, in my next uh, tutorial which is the uh, part two of the sketcher so let's not do that right now let's close it out this is good enough this is a sum geometry we have created now <clears throat> as you can see this is uh, it's, it's in lying on the xy plane now I even though I did not create a body, uh, the body uh, icon is here, uh, but it already put uh, the sketcher inside the body. Now I could have started with creating a body and then creating the sketcher inside the body. Uh, you could have gone that way, but you know since I did not start with the bo uh, body, it all automatically put the sketcher inside the body. Now why do you why why does uh, free can do that in the part design environment it always wants to start the sketcher inside a body because the expectation is that you will build your model uh, into some kind of a 3d geometry based on the sketcher so you have to have a body to do that so that's the reason why your sketch is inside the body now you could rename this body as well I could press F2 and I can say uh, body one sketch or something like that. So uh, you, you you can always uh, rename it any way you like it. Even the sketcher, you can rename it. I can press F2 key. I can say sketch one zero. Okay. So, and I would I encourage you to uh, start naming your elements of your model uh, any way you think that it is most uh, convenient for you to identify on a you know, later date when you open up the model. You can understand clearly what you have done uh, through this uh, by looking at your uh, tree. Okay. Now, now there is one other element that you see it's in plain sight hidden is this origin now what is this origin so i'm going to click on this origin 
and I can uh, activate it. It's in a, it, it's active, but it is not visible. I can uh, make it visible by pressing the space bar key. Now uh, it is visible. Now, what is this coordinate system? There are a bunch of planes and axes. Okay. So uh, in order to explain this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another body here. Uh, it's the second one. Uh, now I'm going to make it, let's say, I'm going to rename it. You can rename it this way too. Uh, I'm going to say uh, body two, uh, say, make it consistent body two point. Oh, okay. Now, this is uh, the second body that was that is in this uh, model. Now, I'm going to, in order to demonstrate, I'm going to put a point, datum point, okay, in in that body. Now, th since this body is active, when I create the datum point, it's going to put inside the body. Now, the message it I got was that hey, this point is uh, not attached to anything. That's fine. That's the point I want to make it across. That hey, uh, I want to demonstrate something here. So um, now this is uh, it is it want me to recompute it. Now this orange, what why it is appearing and not the orange color, but some kind of a purple color because it's it's not attached to anything. That's why it is that way. So let's not focus on that, we'll, we'll uh, do a couple of things here. Now, this first body has a coordinate system, as I said, with planes and axes. I can, let's say I can move it around, see whether I can move it around. Okay. So let's say, I, yeah. So now I can even rotate it, okay. Now, as you see, the sketch itself, everything rotates with this uh, when I may make this. Okay, now let's see, make it okay. So now it's rotated, it's out of this point, it's moved to a different, um, different location. Now, the point I want to make here is that hey, even though you create a sketch, that sketch can be moved around. It can be rotated, and that's precise the point. It's, it's because what you will do is, you, when you create a sketch, you will, you know, move it around, attach to faces, uh, you know, make make it, um, you know, in order for you to create multiple models, uh, you want to have uh, the sketch to be moved around uh, and relocated. So you can use the same sketch on multiple bodies if, if you're building a you know assembly, something like that. So that's the purpose. So I want to kind of get, give you that uh, that capability, uh, aware of that capability with the sketch. It's not just it's not fixed in fixed on space. It can be moved around. Okay. So uh, and then okay, we can go back to this sketch. And it'll open up just like it did previously. It'll in, put into a 2D, and you can, you know, you can put constraint, you can put uh, geometric dimensions, and all that good stuff, which we will get into a, uh, in, in my part two video. Okay. So what I can do here is I can pick this cage, and then I can, you know, put some. Uh, uh, let's say I need to make this active. Uh, okay. Now I can. Add it. You can see. I mean, I'm using in this video. I'm using millimeters. I mean, it can be inches as well. So let's say make it inch, about 25 millimeters per inch. And now you got a body uh, that is based off of your sketch. Okay. So so now let's dive deep uh, into this sketch. Thing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to you know get out of this model. Uh, let's close this guy. I'm going. To, I'm not going to save it. I'm going to discard it and start with the new uh, model space. 
Now, <clears throat> I showed you that there is another sketcher available outside of part design. Now, what do you do with that? Okay. Now, if I click on that, yeah, it has, uh, you know, you have a sketcher appearing here and uh, you have uh, you know you have some other buttons which uh, we will get into a little bit later but this sketch if i click on that it asks for you to pick a plane just like what we did on the uh, part design workbench uh, it asks you to pick a xy plane now it, you can offset it uh, by a certain distance i'm not going to do that so i'm just going to click on it and create a sketch okay now <clears throat> I can create just something like this the what I did previously you know we can talk about the constraints later but I'm just going to keep leave it as it is now this sketch is has no body you can see that there's no body in it and that's the reason why there's some uh, you know this uh, small button or the circle appears because it is not attached to anything it's virtually useless right because we are we can't create anything out of this there's not enough uh, options available for me to extrude it or uh, rotate it or morph it to a, some geometry there's nothing available for me to do that so uh, the standalone this is is not much use but let's see what we can do with this i'm going to uh, escape I'm going to delete this model and I'm start going to go to part and I have these uh, all these uh, primitives which I can start with so I'm going to let's say I'm going to start with the cylinder this time so this cylinder is created at the origin and now uh, one thing you would notice that you did not see any coordinate system because already uh, there is um, inherent coordinate system belt which you can see which you can see i think uh, it will show up in the data you can see in the placement you can see axis you can see position all that there are so there is inherent uh, coordinate system built into this now what do we do with this one so we when we can go back to that sketcher now i can create a sketch okay now what i want to do is i don't want to pick these uh, uh, default uh, planes what i want to do is i want to pick this guy and then see whether I can create a sketch on this. So it says, oh yeah, you can pick this planar face to create my sketch. Now you can see that it created uh, uh, or gave me the option to create a sketch on this uh, plane for this cylinder, okay? Now I can go and pick this guy and maybe, uh, Okay, not exactly because it, you can't pick it on anything on this but I can pick the uh, let's see what is going on okay there you go so now I'm once again I'm not going to constrain anything here I'm just going to get out of here we'll get into those details later now I have a sketch actually on top of this cylinder okay now uh, what do we do with this so we go back to our part design uh, or part workbench and i should be able to do some stuff around this okay now uh, no i think i need to yeah i think what i can do is i can pick this uh, sketch see whether we can uh, extrude that Okay, so it gave me an option to extrude it. It's probably extruding uh, internally. So you can see. Um, let's uh, let's do one thing. Let's reverse it <clears throat> and see how much of it here. Okay. 
So, yeah, so it extruded into the body by 30 mils. Uh, because this cylinder is uh, 10 millimeters in height. So it expanded beyond that. So what we could do is we could do a Boolean operation. We could pick the solid. We could pick the extrusion and make the difference and see what happens. So you got a, like a cylinder got converted to a tube. So now I can close this. So with this, what you learned here is that you could use the sketcher and combine that with the part workbench uh, and create some model. So that's the uh, essence of this part of the tutorial. Okay. Now, um, we will get into the uh, constraining of the uh, sketcher in the next video. So stay tuned for that. Thank you.